It is quite common to see teenagers like me starting their own online business. But most of the time it's just someone trying to get rich quick. They never have a vision or a real long term plan. What actually happens is that they are getting motivated by some random motivational TikTok or Instagram account that is saying that they have to become the best version of themselves. This is actually quite positive, but not if you go into it with the wrong mindset. What you actually need to really succeed is a set of long term goals to work towards with an actual plan. This is why myself, an actual 15 year old with a business, is going to share my own vision and goals for the next 2024. I'm gonna do this to give you guys a bit of guidance to aim towards. We are going to work with a framework of four headers. Number one, the past achievements. To get an understanding of where you're coming from. Number two, reflection. This dives deeper into your internal work for yourself. For example, what did I do for myself to get to this point? How hard did I work? What routines did I follow? Did you actually deliver on your words? And then setting the actual goals to visualize your success. And at last comes actually strategizing your way towards your goals and your vision that you have set. So right away when I started, I already got in contact with a client. This client was free, but it was a really good way for me to get experience. It was a page that was about swing scats. The actual owner of this page was selling these swing scats, was showcasing them on her Instagram account. The work that I did for her was creating posts and managing everything. What I also did was try to uh, make a bunch of Telegram groups to sell them. I didn't have any success with this client and I didn't gain any money from it. It was just a experience for me. From this gig, I learned to work for the first time with clients. I went to actually physically see them and it was just a really good way for me to yeah, get to know this world and how this all works. Another thing that I achieved this year was that I signed two clients. These clients were also purely for experience. I did make some value out of it, but it was not money. It was a free membership and some merch, what I really appreciated. For this account, I made the actual content. I, I recorded videos and edited them. I'm still doing this and this is just for me to like keep working and keep evolving. A pretty big achievement for me this year was getting an actual camera. Now I can take my work way more serious and I can create much more high quality content. A few weeks ago I made my first website. This is a website that I'm doing with my dad. So this company that I'm in right now has two branches. It has um, the physical marketing where my dad is in and the online marketing what I'm doing. I created the whole website and it was a really good experience for me to actually learn sales. So this website is still really simple, but it has um, the most basic things and it, it is actually able to get into contact with clients if they are actually interested. At the current status I am, I'm hitting a kind of a roadblock. I am now in a stage that I am really seeking for clients and I'm actually talking to them. But I am not really making any serious money. It is here and there I'm making some small amounts, but not the actual monthly subscriptions I'm aiming for. So that is really something I'm working for to try to get to the next stage to actually get conversions with my clients and actually getting them into the program. So that is why I'm right now really focusing on my my sales side of the, the of the business. Six months ago I like literally did the same but this was when I didn't have any experience and didn't have any knowledge. Then I wasn't able to deliver on my promises and I didn't have any, any actual knowledge. So now I can actually deliver on what I say. So right now I'm really focusing on getting in fiscal contact with my clients to actually show up to their actual fiscal fiscal businesses because I think this is for me a really good way to yeah like get into contact with them because it is much more easy to get the client if you're just approaching them online if you guys want to learn more about this let me know in the comments and i will make another video much more in depth about that topic with everything i do comes a lot of mistakes i have made uh, some quite questionable mistakes in my past and yeah they were quite dumb like really early on i had a opportunity to work for a a restaurant it was for free but it was a really big um, it was a really big thing for me back then and I 
I had a meeting with them planned in but I didn't show up because I miscalculated the amount of time it would take to get there. There were also a bunch of times where I just wasn't disciplined. I just had promised to do something to myself but I didn't do it because I was lazy. This is something that happens to a lot of people but I think this has to be taken really seriously because it is more about your internal work. If you actually live up to your word you will be feel so much better and you will become disciplined and successful. Another really big mistake I made in the past was just focusing on my sales and my outreach, not on my actual service delivery. I believe now that you always have to make your service delivery as good as possible. You, have, you, you always need to focus a lot on your service. Even if you're not doing it yourself and you're outsourcing it to someone else, you really have to focus on your product and your quality of your product rather than the outreach you're doing. And if you do that well, the clients will come themselves. A few weeks ago with the website came a merge. I have made a merge with my dad's company and I'm now, my, I'm now involved with a company called Frost Design and that is also the website I'm working with right now. This is my dad's company and we have um, we have converted it to two branches, so the actual physical marketing and the online marketing. And we really think that these two services will give a really good connection to each other. You guys will see a lot more of that in the future. I know I've discussed the, the plan where I'm coming from and what I did. Now we have a good foundation of knowledge from what I did and what my achievements were. Now we can actually turn up to the um, goals we're gonna set for the next year. So this year I already had set a goal for me to make 5,000 euros. Of course this is not going to happen because we I haven't made any serious money and even if I would start to get clients all of a sudden right now I think I will not be able to actually accomplish these goals. So we will still hold this goal for the 2024. I don't see this as a disappointment for myself because it was just a um, goal to work towards and it was not really urgent. If I work hard enough for it, I don't really care about the outcome. I just know I work hard for it, so I'm still really positive about my workflow. So right now I'm getting really into photography and cinematography, so I want to expand my camera gear and everything based about my content creation service. So that, that is why I want to buy some more accessories for my um, camera gear. The things I want to purchase is a gimbal and a drone. You can get really smooth shots with a gimbal and that's why I really want to um, make use out of a gimbal in my footage and content. But also a drone because you can get really creative shots with this and much more open shots. I'm really looking to expand this company next year. So a really big goal for me is to hire an actual employee to um, expand the business with. If I, once I'll start hiring employees and working with people, then I can scale really fast. And a really big goal for me for the next year, that is really far away still, but a really big thing for me, is hire an actual office because it will be such a big thing for me to actually rent a facility. But how are we going to do these things? We have to have a actual strategy to work towards. So I've taken, I've chopped this up into three branches. So to actually scale your business, you have to really work on your outreach and your marketing plans. Another thing that is really important is your team expansions. So what extra roles are we gonna get for our future employees? And then at last comes the investments in tools and AI. I really want to invest in, in AI tools that are gonna come around next year. Since things like Adobe Firefly and I reckon there are gonna come so much more interesting tools for in the future. Right now I'm doing fiscal outreach to potential clients, but I really want to turn that around to online outreach. I want to start marketing campaigns to actually get in potential clients. Because if they would actually go to our marketing funnels, they are already interested. We know for certain that they are interested in our services. It will, so it will be much more easier to actually convert them into customers. So for about team expansions and for roles, this comes actually really more to the physical, for the physical marketing side of this company because my dad is doing signing and he needs um, some employees that will work for him to do certain things around that. But I'm not gonna go into that too deep. 
but what would be really good for me to um, expand this branch of the business to have an actual virtual assistant to get into contact with these pot potential clients and convert them into customers and of course for the um, actual service delivery side for the online marketing we will need to have a bunch of contractors who will do the creative work for us i hope this was really helpful to you because this gives me a much clearer image of where i want to work towards this is a much more bigger goal, but you also need to have some smaller goals for in your daily, in your weekly, in your monthly, in your monthly periods. So if you guys want a video about that, please let me know in the comments. If you guys want to know more about how I create my content and my um, editing process and what techniques I use, please click this video. This video was really helpful to even myself to record. I learned a lot from it.